on Chris back again rocket stove number eight so let's draw a front leg so we sketch we need to create a middle plane so construct a mid plane in fact we've already got the mid plane thinking about it it's here, isn't it? All we need to do is drag it out a little bit. So let's go go to sketch, draw a map plane, a line. If I hover over that bottom edge and as I slide down, I see I'm sliding down on that X like that. If I pick, and here's a bit of a trick. I need to go at 90 degrees and you can see the perpendicular blue square in there, so we know that's at 90. So let's go down and say 110. Put the tab key, it's 155, so that's pretty good. Go enter. And if we now stop that sketch, what I want to do is I want to create a plane that's on that line, but it's perpendicular to that line. So and then we can draw the 25 and we can project it up. Oh, hold on, got nothing to project it down to. So while we're in constructing planes, if we orbited this over, escape, and go construct, offset a plane, and pick on the very bottom and set OK, and then drag that plane out. That plane, see that plane there? We can call that the ground. And then that'll give us something to project that other one too. So we can turn that ground off. So we want to construct a plane at right angles to that. So if we go construct a plane along a path, and it says up here path select, we select that. Let's say we just want it halfway, we just need to put in 0.5. If we want it on the end, we'll make it 1. So let's make it on the end 1. So OK. And then let's create a sketch on that plane. And you can see it's put the origin in there for us, ready to go. But this time, we're going to do a rectangle, but a really special rectangle, a centre rectangle. We're going to put the centre of the rectangle there, and then we're going to come out, 25, tab, 25, enter, stop the sketch, and if I just rotate that a little bit, you'll see there, can you see that, yeah. and then if I turn that ground one back on, it's not a problem, now I'll make it smaller, not that you have to, just make it easy, it doesn't have to be bigger when we project down to it, it can be anywhere, tiny even. So let's go create an extrude, but instead of doing a one side, what we're going to do this time is do a two sides. So profile to select is that, and if I pick on this arrow, that will be the first side to go. And instead of a distance, let's go to object, and that'll be the object. So I projected it up to there, and always pick on this one. And then if we go into side two to an object, and this is the object, see I projected down to that? And make sure it's a new body. Say OK. Puts a new body over here. And of course we can name that front. I might call it front leg if you want. That's good. And if we turn that plane off, sit down a bit, the ground plane off. Here, you'll see if we go like this that we've created a front leg. If we go left, have a look, it's at the same level as what that is. Because that plane is hooked up to that, if we shift this up and down by changing that measurement back on that sketch, so that will also shift up and down. But that clearance doesn't look too bad. Quite pleased with that. 